Hello everyone, this is Fossil 33 coming at you with another uh, review video. Today I will be reviewing the uh, Gemini Jets Delta Embraer 170. Now, I'm recording on my phone instead of my camera because I realize that the camera that I use isn't really good for recording, it's more good for photography. And the phone, I have an iPhone 6, which is what I'm recording on right now, and that camera is amazing videos especially so yeah um in case you didn't watch my uh, releases video which i'm guessing you have due to the fact that a lot of people watch that like a hundred like it's 94 or something anyway a lot of people watch that video so in case you didn't um i'm not doing uh my custom report anymore let's just take a look at it I'm not doing this airport anymore even though it was cool and fun i'm doing seattle airport now and i'm beginning to collect in the mind of uh, Seattle. So I'm collecting airlines that will go to Seattle. Now Delta flies these planes to Seattle a lot to, to go to like Los Angeles or Portland? Question? No, they don't do Portland with those. They do the CRJ one. So CRJ 700s, which I have. And I only have a few more models to go though before I can start doing updates of Seattle, like full updates. I might actually like move the buildings around to make it more realistic, but that's how it's going to be for now before I begin renovation. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Box first. So I didn't see a lot of the reviews of this plane on YouTube. Uh, due to the fact that a lot of people were impatient with Gemini Jets, and I understand that because Gemini Jets is really stubborn and they don't make planes until everyone has collected a plane and everyone's collected the same plane from a certain from a certain manufacturer, different one. That happened, for example, with the um, Delta A3, A321. People got really impatient and they bought the Aero Classics one. When like a month later, Delta released, I mean Gemini just released one. Same with this one. Herpa models made one a long time ago. I, the reason I don't collect Herpa is because it's really, really, really expensive. Like, uh, like the United 77400 is roughly 50 bucks on the website that I buy. And a Gemini Jets one, I'm guessing, would be around 30 to 40 bucks. So there's a big difference there. And this plane is like 40 bucks on Herpa models which is insane. So I bought, got this guy for like $28 though. And it's amazing. I really like my website, link in the description. If on every video, on every review, I'll have the link of my, uh, the place that I bought it in the description. So yeah, uh, box first, you have the classic Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors trademark. You got the plane in the middle. Um, it says something in the front, uh, operated by Shuttle America, right up at the front. Uh, we could have seen it on the model, but yeah, I just got these, by the way. I didn't really open them or do anything. By the way, the, by these, I mean these four planes. I got the Delta ERJ and these four. A lot of A320s in this, lot, in this hall. Uh, if we flip it up, you've got stats on the MBR 170. Uh, you got the Paris Air Show, which is kind of neat addition. You got the stats. I might put these into this. No, I'm not going to do it. It's just a waste put these in the description you got the back you got disclaimers uh plane climbing uh 2016 all these all the models i got are 2016 except for the a united a320 that i got all right let's begin with the model shall we all right so what we've got here is a camera that will not focus there we go let's see if that works if it wants to Maybe it's too close. Let's zoom out. Zoom in here. There we go, better. You got windshield wipers up at the front. Uh, you got the nose cone up at the up at here. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the nose cone, the reason that there's a nose cone is there's some sort of radar dish under the nose cone. I'm guessing it's the transponder, most likely not. Transponders are in, are on the fuselage somewhere. But there's something under the nose cone. I'm not 100% sure what it is. But that's its purpose anyway, in case you're wondering. The nose we've got, uh, it says Embraer 170, most likely. Yep. Operated by Shuttle America. You got the Sky Team logo, the forward door. You got the stairs that can come out as well, which are neat. But not on the model, of course, in the real life they do. It says Delta Connection. I actually flew one of these from Portland to Los Angeles. It's a pretty cool plane. I sat in the very back, so yeah, because I was flying in a company, and um, yeah, that's the rule. You can't travel 
you have to travel in the back if you're on a company minor, and then you got the perfect delta tail. Then what I really liked about this that kind of separates it from the Herpa models is that they have the rolling wheels and the uh, more detail on the wing tips, the winglets, they're more advanced. The engines are awesome. Let's see if we can see in the inside, that's cool. Bottom, we got a bunch of detail on the bottom. We got the wheel compartments, the cargo doors, or what's left of the cargo door. We got the display stand hole. And yeah, there's your thing. Oh yeah, look, your registration is November 867 Romeo Whiskey. Yeah, this guy will be at Seattle, obviously. They'll do flights to California. I know they do that with this guy. I think they do it with the to Salt Lake City as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'll check. I'll check up though on that, so you don't have to correct me if you don't want to. But yeah, so that is it for this review. I hope you've all enjoyed. Rate, comment, share, and subscribe. See you all later. Have a good one.